Hello, it's Dansky with another tutorial here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a responsive grid layout in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go up to File, New, make sure our units are in pixels, and set the width to 1170. And I've set the height to the same, but this can be as deep as you like. The color mode is RGB, and the raster effects is screen 72 ppi. I click OK. And there we've got our artboard. What we're going to do is we're going to click the rectangle tool. We're going to left click on the artboard and make a rectangle that's 70 by 70. So if you click OK, and we're just going to make sure that we've got no stroke or outline around the edge. And we're going to make the color of this red. And we're just going to bring that over to the left. And just make sure that you, if you go up to view, that you've got smart guides and snap to point turned on. So let's select the rectangle tool again. We're going to click again on the artboard and we're going to create one that's 30 by 30. And we're going to make this yellow. And then we're going to just bring that up and so it snaps alongside. Then we're going to go up to view and make sure we've got our rulers turned on so they'll appear down the left and across the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to left click inside the ruler and drag out and this will create a guide for us. And our first guide is going to be on the very left hand edge. We're going to do the same again and we're going to stop right where the red square meets the yellow square. And then the third and final guide is going to be along the right edge of the yellow square like that. So now you should have your three guides. Okay, and what we're going to go and do is go up to view, go down to guides, and just check that they're not locked. By default, Illustrator sometimes locks them, but with them unlocked, we can move them around freely and select them as we need to. So now we're going to zoom out so we can see the whole artboard, select those three guides, and holding shift and alt to make a copy of these guides, we're going to drag across. So the far left guide lines up with the right side of the yellow square and it should snap in place. And then just let go. And then without pressing anything else, press Command D on the Mac, Control D on the PC. And that will repeat your last step in Illustrator. Okay. And we're just going to repeat that all the way across. And if you've done it correctly, this line here, this guide, should line up with the right edge of your artboard. And we can just get rid of this one on the end because we don't need that. And now we can go back and delete our shapes. Now they've served their purpose. And you should be left with something like this. And this is a 12 column grid that will help when designing a responsive website. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more video tutorials. I'll see you next time.